Hey, what's up guys? So I want to share a quick video on just some things that are going on in Infusionsoft, kind of current state of things, so that when issues come up that are known issues, you're actually aware of them. So uh, number one is the Yahoo email incident. Um, Clay actually talked about this at SuccessCon, but basically there was an issue where emails weren't being delivered and, uh, and it was quite like a decent percentage, like 20% or 15% of all emails. And then now they have it like under control where it's only like one to 3% or something like that. So that's still an issue going on. Best way to remediate that or deal with it is uh, having great list hygiene. I'm gonna circle back to that. The other thing is campaigns sporadically refreshing and causing things to not save. So that's just a known issue. So if you're getting kicked out of campaigns just randomly and it doesn't say like, you know, such and such person went into the campaign, then that's probably what's going on. They're actively working on it. Um, this along the side here, this is on knowninissues.infusionsoft.com, shows the priority of, of them looking into things. So you can find other ones uh, going on on this page here, any other issues or look for stuff. Uh, if, if certain things are happening, but I'll try to update you as, as things go on. Finally, how to do list management. So I've been meeting, uh, working on this, especially with uh, one of my clients. So there's this search called the email status search, basically shows all the email statuses in your system. So what you can actually do is, um, number one is filter out uh, people who having, have uh, engaged, anyway. So my recommendation to you to combat um, you know, email deliverability issues and stuff like that is to not mail anybody at least who haven't engaged for more than six months. Uh, and then that's, that's the minimum. And then like really strict would be not mailing people who haven't engaged in one or two or three months. So that'd be like the strictest uh, kind of thing. I'd re probably recommend around three months. So what you do is you tag all those people and then you just don't email them. I've learned something um, about this um, settings in email uh, automated list management where um, you actually don't really want to use this unengaged non-marketable threshold you really want to do it manually or Adrian Savage Adrian Savage of we deliver and marketing idea square lab I don't know what all of his companies are but uh, if you just look him up uh, he has a company that's doing something pretty cool with this so basically this unengaged non-marketable status that's important so I would probably set that to you know at minimum three months um, and then at maximum one month is when they move from engaged to unengaged. So make sure that that status there, but don't have this on, just tag people when they're unengaged, whatever that means to you, whether it's six months or three. And then if you wanna, uh, I wouldn't opt those people out, just don't mail them. So make sure whenever you do a broadcast, you exclude those list of people. Um, if they're clients, then you wanna leave them in your database because you always wanna keep client data. If they're prospects or leads, you can leave them in there if you're not running out of contacts in your system. If you are running out of contacts in your system, I would export them, all their information, and pull them out, and you can put that into a custom audience in uh, Facebook or whatever your advertising platform is. So hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any questions or anything like that, um, if you're seeing this you know, uh, via email or within Loom, feel free to email me back if I email this to you. If you're seeing this on Facebook, definitely comment below. Let me know um, what you think, and if you have any questions about this, uh, hopefully it's been helpful. See you guys.